Oh god, it's here. Ch Chara, did you say something? No, it's it's nothing. Just go back to sleep. In fact, let's just sleep all day. Okay. Wait, no. We we can't. We got we got to go to school. School? What what school? Just School is a lie. Just go back to sleep. Chara, you're all right. You seem grouchier than usual. Nothing's wrong. Go to bed. We're skipping school today. Oh, come on, Chara. You can tell me what's wrong. Azriel, no. Just let me go back to sleep. Azriel, yes! Tell me what's wrong. What's wrong with you today? <laughs> oh, man. I follow my glitter project. No, I'll never get an A on Mom's test. Azriel, you wouldn't get an A even if you tried. You only say that because she gives you an A on everything. She doesn't give me an A on everything, Asriel. Yeah, huh? And even if she did, it would only be because she likes me more than you. <laughs> you take that back! I mean, you literally answered with apple pie when the answer was obviously snail pie. The answer could have been anything. The question was what was Mom's favorite use for snails? My children, please stop fighting. Here, I cooked your favorite bacon, eggs, and oatmeal pie for breakfast. Oh wow! Thanks, Mom! You're the best! You can make pie out of anything! Um, 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 um. It's no problem, really. Now please, hurry and eat my pie before it gets all old and crusty. I'm sure you'll enjoy it. Oh look! Your father is back! Look, Azrael, I found something interesting. Oh, what is it? It's something to replace you. What? Look, it's a small, inanimate object that entertains me when I shake it. It even makes this cute little noise, you see? Better that, since the last time I tried to shake you, Toriel refused to speak to me for a week. What? <laughs> Look, I like shaking things too. Azriel, no, you're not shaking me like a snow globe. Hey, Kara, look at this. Look at this here. See, it's got a little deformed griff trot in there. Oh, look at his cute little leg and his misshapen head. What? You're acting like you've never seen someone smash a snow globe before. <laughs> Excellent work, my child. You saw that you had competition, and you eliminated it. Well done. You'll make a fine leader yet. Wait, I, I, th I thought I was the hare. See, see, look, I can smash things too. God. Asriel, what's gotten into you? Child, look at what you've done. You've wasted perfectly good pie. I'm, I'm sorry, Dad. Oh, just... Go to Snowden. Go to Snowden and buy a new plate. I'm gonna go too, just so he doesn't get lost or something. Can we get one plate, please? Yes, of course. Would you like that gift wrapped? W why would we want it gift wrapped? Well, you broke it, right? It's only nice to be a gift to say sorry with. <sighs> right, right, of course. Sub kids. Oh, hiya, Sans. How's it going today? So I heard you in there. You doing all right? Yeah, I'm. I'm doing fine. Why? Oh, nothing. <laughs> Just thought you might be looking a gift horse in the mouth is all. Oh. Well, Tron, I thought you liked to live in the present. Did something happen? <laughs> oh, nothing. Just a bit wrapped up in my thoughts here. Chara, don't encourage him. Oh. I get it, Prince. I see how you treat your friends. For sure. What do you mean? I treat everybody nicely. So what's with the gift? Someone's birthday or something? Well, idiot here went and threw a plate on the ground, so now we need a new one. And what did he go and do that for? Well, you see, Char broke one of Daddy's toys, and then they got all the praise, but when I broke a plate, Mom just yelled at me. Wow. <laughs> that was pretty naughty of you. Why are you trying to get to your dad's nice list of all of it? Wait! 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 Tail warmer for sale! Time to sell time warmer for tush! It's fuzzy and soft and comfy and time totally not finding 
dumpster. What you say? Now sell for five? No. Mm -hmm. Wait. Three G. Ten have sale. Plus four G and Tem throw in cool hat. <sighs> I didn't know Tem could sew. She's really good at it. I wonder if she'll give one to me. Nah, she clearly found it in the dumpster. The real question is why there were a metric ton of tail warmers in the trash. Well, it is Christmas and all. What is question? Question? That 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 thing? <clears throat> no, not nothing. Don't worry about it. Come on, buddy. You can tell us. Not on your life, Sans. <laughs> Good thing I'm already dead. Oh wait, is that another human holiday? Do I have to get the soapbox again? Shh, shh, no, no, it's nothing. It's nothing. We got the plate. Let's go home. Now hold on a sec, buddy. It seems to me you're hiding something. Now, you could either tell me... Or... No, no, we're not gonna go into this again. No one cares about this stupid holiday. No one should care, because you all are just gonna mess it up anyway. And I really, really would rather not have to deal with another person following me around for five months. Oh wait, come on! The last human tradition was super fun! No, it wasn't. It's how I met Nabsablook. I know! And you guys are like the best of buddies now. But not, like, not better than me and you, right? Because we're siblings. You and I need to have a long talk about what friends are. Yeah. Later. First, I want to know more about this new holiday. Do we get to wear your face again? <laughs> what? No, dressing up isn't even what you do. You just get fat and loaded on food and gifts. Loaded, you say? Now you have my interest. Anything else I should know about this Christmas thing? You can figure out the rest of it on your own. I'm heading home. Don't bug me with this again. Wait, Chara, you can always tell me, right? Right? Oh, hi, Sans. Hey, Nappy. I got something to ask you. Oh, please, come in. Mind the stuff on the ground. Uh, bad time? N no, not at all, not at all. We were just talking about this trip we were planning on taking. Oh, really? Where are you going? We are going to SpookCon, on the other side of Mount Ebbet. We're gonna hang out with other ghosts in the underground. I'm actually gonna go to sell my super spooky mixtapes. Happy even wants to join the spook off. Hapstablook, do you want to show him your scare tactic? Hmm? Oh, uh, yes. Um, boo. Right. He's been practicing, and Maddie wants to make some friends. He doesn't like living things all that much. So he wants to make some new ghost ones. Oui. And I'm not all that fond of the unliving Isaiah. So watch yourself. Om Skulet. I'm not all that sure what he said just now, but it sounded like a compliment. Anyway, we're gonna have so much fun. Oh, oh wait, no. I'm sorry, did you, did you need something? What, 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 what was it? Well, well, I was gonna ask for your help with this holiday that Char is hiding from us. <sighs> There's... Another one? When is it? Dunno. Sometime this week. Maybe tomorrow. Oh, really? Wait. No. Oh, that's too bad. I would have loved to help. I love hanging out with Char. I'm sorry, Sans. Hey, don't worry about it. You gotta do what you gotta do. Have fun at your spook con. Don't do that spook con. What? He says that on purpose. Poop gone. Anyway, I'll see you guys later. Hmm. I guess if Nappy can't help, I guess I'll just go talk to G then. I swear to Jimbo. Caster, if these vacuums spill into my room again, we're gonna have a really bad time. I pay the bills, I can put my stuff wherever I please. Man, you've been doing this for like eight months. You got a reason? Not sure. I just have a feeling that we'll need the perfect vacuum at some point. Sure. Because if you're vacuuming your entire laboratory away, that would really suck. Anyway, did you need something? So yeah, the human kid is hiding another holiday. Just wanted to know if you know anything about it. It's called Christmas or something. Perhaps. I'll check my anthropological sciences section to see if I have any related articles. 
<laughs> yeah, all right. Well, after a most satisfactory examination of my anthropological sciences section, I did find a few instances of human festivals of a Christmas-related nature. Plenty of remarks about a fat-bearded fellow who delivers presents to children. Some evidence pointing to the opposite, the fat man scaring children. Some things about ghosts and so on. And that means... what? That means, my glorious mooch, that there is a fat snowman who lies through the air on the back of a red-nosed reindeer delivering presents. And at the same time, he goes around disciplining bad children before summoning three ghosts, one representing the past, one the present, and one the future, to teach said children about the true meaning of Christmas. He will then give a speech before vanishing for the rest of the year, along with his band of tiny human helpers. Whoa, that's a lot. Let's focus on one part at a time. Tell me more about these ghosts. I want to do something for this thing. But Nashtabook and his cousins are out leaving for a bit. So we might have a problem. But perhaps we may be able to come up with the next best thing. Papyrus, you and I may not be phantoms per se, but if the humans are serious about celebrating, we three are close enough to the undead that we could fill in the ghost places. I see. Well then. The kid was talking about it earlier. Seemed real anxious too. I think we should help them out. In fact, let's make it a surprise. I think they'll enjoy it more if we put on a performance to cheer them up. Indeed, that's rather sporting of you, Sans. I never took you as the supportive type. Well, what can I say? I guess I got holiday fever. The same holiday that you only just heard of. And don't look at me, man. The kids seem excited. I just want to help them out. Now we're going to do this thing. Hold on. Let's find Papyrus and see if he wants to help. Gaster, I think maybe I got stuck in the vacuum again. Oh dear, I told you not to play with the vacuums I left in your room. I hope you realize how stupid you sound. Hey Papyrus, wanna help us put on a play for the human? What? Really? Yeah. Um, g can we get my leg back first? Here, let me get that. What? You're paying for that, you know. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> what? Your rent money? What the hell? What? Do you have a problem? What, you, I can't lounge about on my tree? <laughs> Whatever. And you get pregnant? Wait, what? I, I get to be a mom? And you get pregnant? These are hard boiled. Oh, can I have and one? And you don't get to be a proud mother. And you get to be proud mom? Happy Hanukkah! Machara, you to find the mom when you start making a dad. Azriel, I thought I told you not to tell anyone. Wait, wait, what? I didn't tell anyone, I swear! I don't believe you. How could I? I was with you all day! Don't you bring logic into this, uh. If it it wasn't you, then it must have been- Sup, kid? Sans, what the hell did you do? I didn't do anything. These town people did it all on their own. But you told everyone! You told me to go figure it out on my own. Plus, I didn't tell anyone. But it might not have helped that I glue all of the info to everyone's doors. Ugh. Now I have to deal with Nabsa book all over again, don't I? Nah. Him and the other ghosts are off at some convention somewhere. What? Oh! I hope they bring me back a souvenir. You know what? That does make me feel better. <laughs> Only a bit, though. Not enough to keep me from hating you with all of my heart. Kid. We both know that you don't have one of those. Then I guess that makes two of us, huh, Sans? <laughs> See, that's why I like you, kid. You're sharp. Yeah, almost as sharp as the knife you stabbed in my back. Now you're catching on. Anyway, you monsters can do whatever you want. I don't care if the town's decorated or not, or whatever you decide to do with your misconception of Christmas. But I cannot stress this enough. Leave me out of it. Kid, come on. I don't do funny. What would I look like to you? A comic? I, I feel like that was supposed to be a pun. But I'm not sure why. So I'm just gonna leave you two to do this and probably end up involving me in it somehow anyway, and I'll just be mad at you then. Bye. What was that about? That just butthurt. Now, 
I have a favor to ask you. Uh, uh? So, Chara, I got a question to ask before we uh, tuck our child into bed. Asriel, a hard boiled egg is not a child. But anyway, what is it? Well, um, what's Christmas like? <sighs> How am I supposed to know? I've never had one. All my life before now, I've either lived alone in an orphanage, in a burning orphanage, or with a guy named Uncle Jimbo, who, by the way, I'm actually convinced wasn't my uncle. The point is, I've never really had a Christmas, and I'm not all that invested to begin with. Oh, so this will be a first for the both of us! It's gonna be so awesome! my most reliable, loving, and trustworthy sibling, who I care for super deeply. <sighs> sure. Good night. Got a piper pee. Amazing papyrus of the past, here to show stories of the Christmas. Uh, past. What? How did you get in my house? Um. Oh God. Papyrus, did Sans put you up to this? Um. No. This was all Gaster's idea. <sighs> Whatever. Just. So, what is this? A three ghosts kind of thing? <laughs> That's right, I am the papyrus of the Christmas past. I would tell you about my own past, but I don't really know it. So, I'll tell you about Snowden's past, that I also don't know. Hmm. Oh, <laughs> well then. <laughs> What now, oh great ghosts of the past? I know! Tell me about your past, human! But the, that's not how this works. But, but I wanna help, please. Actually, I don't think you've ever told me either. I wanna know too. Please! Ugh, it's like cute and stereo. Fine, I'll tell you a little bit. Like I said earlier, I spent most of my time after being sold off in an orphanage. That was until it burnt down and I was left trapped inside. So eventually I ran away with Uncle Jimbo, then fell down here. And you know how that ended up. And that's what happened. Roughly. Wait, what? Those are just vague descriptions. I don't get it. Aha! The magnani mag mag Aha! The magnificent papyrus has done his job! The past is uncovered! Huzzah! You say that, but all I did was tell you about my past. And you didn't even do that. And now, like Sans told me, I must vanish in a cloud of smoke. And don't forget, there are two more ghosts coming! <sighs> Again, what you looking at? <laughs> Azriel, can you stop screaming whenever he shows up? I can't help it. He's just so surprising. And as for you, you're just gonna twist that knife deeper, aren't you? <laughs> you can always go deeper, kid. Now shut up and let me tell you a story of Christmas present. Hey, I'm a little old for stories. How about you go tell Goat Boy over there? I'm sure he'd like it. Oh, yay! Story time! See? No. Both of you shut up and listen. This is for the greater good. Greater good? What greater good? What is precisely greater or good about sneaking into a kid's bedroom? My amusement was good. Now we're to make it greater. Anyway, this is a story about the present. Yours. My present? Being annoyed? <laughs> nah. See, you're the thing. People don't like you. You're scary. Really? I hadn't noticed. Scary people have had their moments, and their uses. They can be cool in moderation, but you need to know when to turn it off. Otherwise, you're not being cool. You're being an asshole. Either way, let me give you a little taste of what people are saying about you. 
I heard Chara likes to replace Ascor's toilet paper with poison ivy. You know how Chara's eyes are piercing red? Contacts. They really think. No freaking way! Hey, did you know Chara uses Ted as a nightlight? Tom, no! Tom sold it to them! Did you know that Chara can't beat Dapper Dwayne in DDR? Oh, wow. Cause I heard that Sans likes to stick things in his eye sockets. Kid, that's private. How'd you know? I didn't. Touché. So all I've learned tonight is that everything I've known is completely true, and everyone around me is an idiot. Is that right? Well, that's pretty astute. You should put that on a shirt and sell it. Maybe for Spoopy Tunes Entertainment? You know, if anyone's interested in that, you could, I don't know, leave a comment. What the hell are you talking about? Nothing, kid. Trying to make a quick buck later. <sighs> Get out of my house. Yeah, sure. I'll be have fun with your last ghost. Yeah, I hope you get something stuck in your eye hole. Kid? N not in front of Asriel. What are you guys talking about? Huh? Well, at least someone tried to fit the theme. Good evening, Prince Dreamer, and humble human. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Prince Dreamer, how did you like my entrance? <laughs> Good. Now, as you know, I'm here as the ghost, well, skeleton of Christmas future. And this night, I will be talking about the most important aspect, vacuums. You're not going to try selling me one, are you? What? Of course not. My creations are not for you, they're for our future. I do not know how, or when, or why, but I'm sure that one day, all of our lives will rest on it. Uh, e even mine? Especially yours. I'm not all that sure the vacuums are that important to my future. Vacuums are everyone's future. They will save us all and leave your carpets looking pristine. Precisely how they will save us all is unknown to me at this time, but it will save us nonetheless. I know that much, and I know it must be small and light so that a small creature can possibly use it, but I don't know the nature of the creature that will use it. Should it have handles, or so many questions, too many variables? I need information. The food of science is data, digested through accurate, unbiased analysis and excreted into useful products. In this case, a vacuum that will save us all in some unspecified way, at some unspecified place and time. Whatever. Are you done? Can I go to sleep? First, young offspring of humans, a question. Have you learned to appreciate Christmas? If I say yes, will you leave? I suppose, but first tradition dictates that I leave you a gift. A token that you've learned your lesson. Oh! Boy, I wonder what it is. Yeah, I wonder. Well, then I shall take my leave. Farewell. Weird. Chara, come here and help me out with this. Yeah, sure, whatever. Yeah, I'm, I'm not keeping this. Ow! Well, this has definitely been an interesting night. I thought it was great. I mean, at least I, um, learned a bit more about you. I guess. At least you had fun. I'm glad about that much, at least. Now let's go back to bed, for real this time. <sighs> Sans! Kara! You have a friend here to visit you. H hey Chara, check out my swag eyes bling. I got it all from SpookCon. Do you like it? I got you and Azriel some swag if you want. And then we can all be dope ice wearing real G's. Or 
that's what the ghost of the convention told me we'd be. Why are you dressed like that? Well, while I was at the convention, I met up with a group of ghosts. I think they were called the Bloods. And they really liked my music. They called me a real G. I think it means a real ghost, which would be a bit weird if I wasn't. Anyway, they told me to stay away from a group called the Crips. But then Maddie came back and said that they were cool. I got really confused, so I tried to bring them all together with my record player. But it only got worse when everyone made it into a big competition. And then everyone lost to Gangster Dwayne at DDR and... I asked him why he was there, but all he told me was that, and I, I quote, <laughs> Come on, look at me, I'm Dwayne, and you're a bitch-ass honky. I mean, I beat everyone at DDR. I'm the most superior dancer that the world has ever known. I mean, come at me, bro. And then the fight started, and the Royal Guard showed up, and Happy finally came out of the bathroom. But, I brought you all gifts. Um, what did you bring me? And that was how I learned the true meaning of Dio de los Muertos. Napsabook, how do you even know about the parts you weren't even there for? Oh, uh, the snails told me. This one, specifically, he was playing hide and seek with everyone. He won. <laughs> so, I heard. No one was able to find him, I think. I think it's interesting. He hid in so many places. Yeah, about that. Can you please get them to stop trying to eat me? Like, I asked in the first place. Oh, but they look so hungry. Are you sure you can't give them a piece? Greetings, everyone. It is Reaper here. I am the voice for the demon child. You probably can't tell much difference, but still can tell the difference at the same time, seeing as my voice is very clearly the same as the one who as the one for Kara. Anyway, did 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 you really expect this to be out on time? I want to know, guys, people, people watching this video. Did you really expect this to be out on time? Knowing us, did you expect that? Well, hopefully at the time of recording this, it's not that late. But I can't blame anyone else for this one being late, seeing as I was one of the last people to get lines in. But yeah, if you want to check out the people who voice acted in this video, slash the rest of the channel, all that stuff is below the fold. So if you want to subscribe, or click the bagel to um, steal a bagel from Rika and subscribe, just to make her more angry, because... I don't know. Just because it's fun. Bye.